Hey guys, welcome back to FTL, Faster Than Light. We're going to do things a little differently today. We're going to go back to this ship. But if you unlock two of the three achievements, you get a new ship layout. And we've done that. So let's do this ship. The DASR-12. Terrible name. So it's going to be the ISS Beer... Beer Keg. Also in honor of the Beer Can. Now the ship's a bit different. It's got a glaive beam. It's got upgraded stealth. Still got no shields. And one advantage the beer can had was that it had good engines so it could avoid some of the shots. This ship doesn't have that advantage. So this ship is actually... Ooh, it's probably the most difficult ship I've seen in the game so far. So if you want a challenge, this is the ship for you. And... Okay, it starts off well to get some scrap. <laughs> I also have a problem that it doesn't start with enough energy, so I'm sort of managing the oxygen and stealth device. Probably not the best idea. I probably could spend the energy now. Uh, the time of playing this ship, I had played about six games with this ship. And right off the bat, we lose one of our crew members. Alright, no, that's fine. That's cool. You move with it. You roll with it. You just lost a crew member. It's okay. You can always get more, right? Yeah, you get more. And there's a laboratory fire, so what do we do? We go in and save him. And what do we get? A new crew member! There's always another one, isn't there? Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate this ship. It's quite a fun ship. I really love the glaive beam. The glaive beam is probably one of my most favourite weapons. Uh, if only... It didn't take 25 seconds to charge. That there lies the problem with the glaive beam. It's massively long charge time. But it does a ton of damage as well, so... You know, it does three points of damage to each sector it hits. has a fairly long beam range. So that's pretty good. So, you can see I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious. I'm not trying to get into every fight possible. Unlike most games where I try to get to every fight. Just because I know the ship's a bit weaker. Now, later on you'll see that I actually up would upgrade the ship at this point. But I think I'm still trying to get the feel of the ship at this point. So we're getting to the first real fight. And here you probably see a bit of an issue with the ship. So the stealth goes off. Cool. They don't get to fire any weapons at me. Now, I was told that if you fire at doors, then the damage goes to both. I can't seem to get that working. I'm not quite sure how that works, but oh well. And I changed my mind about which door to go through. And weapons is down. One hit takes weapons down immediately. So, that sucks. But it's okay, we can repair the guns, right? Engines are damaged. Okay, still can't charge the weapons because the weapons are still down. As soon as we get the weapons up online, we can turn them on and actually kill this ship. As soon as we get the glaive beam on, the ship will collapse in one hit. I'm not even kidding. Helm's down, now we've got 0% evasion, and there's a fire. And doors are down, so we can't open up the vents of the ship. The vents are located only at the back. I don't see any other vents. Nope, there's no other vents. And the ship is in real trouble now. And... Okay, cool, we got one shot off. And now we repair the ship. <laughs> God, I hate this ship sometimes. But it... While I hate this ship, it is certainly one of the most intriguing ships to me. It's... I like the stealth ship. The fact that it's got speed means it doesn't really need the shield so much. Um, and this ship doesn't really have that advantage, so... It's kind of cool in its own kind of way. I like the variant ships. Uh, later this week I will be running a video on the Mantis variant ship. I didn't do the Mantis original ship because I played it very much like the... Uh, Donut 16, uh, Donut of War. But this one, the upgraded Mantis, uh, 
doors. Okay, now we've got a problem. So now I've got oxygen's running out. I've opened a door to the outside world and I can't close the doors again. So we have to repair the oxygen. So we're going to have to do a little bit of running people in, running people out. And oxygen is fixed, so now you'd move everyone out, but too late. Move them out. Eww, that Zoltan's really low in health. But anyway, now with oxygen up, you are not going to lose your guys instantly. So now, now it's just sort of a challenge to get the doors repaired and then you can carry on your trip. Alright, and doors are fixed. Close the doors, yeah, it comes back into the ship and you're good to continue. I'll just equalize the air pressure quickly. So yeah. Anyway guys, I've decided I'm going to do another week's worth of FTL videos just because the game's still new, people still want to find out more about it, people just want information, so I thought, you know what, let's do that, let's give them what they want. Um, I still plan to do more stuff later, I'm going with Dark Souls every two days. Eh, it's getting a few hits, not quite as much as uh, this game, but that's okay. I mean, I'm, I don't mind at all actually, I have a lot of fun playing Dark Souls, and hopefully you have fun watching it. But if you don't, that's okay, I wouldn't hold it against you. So, the ship's ready to go, things have been moved around, and we're going into the next sector. We're already at 50% health after one fight. Yeah, that happened. But now we've got level 3 stealth. Now with this ship, I think level 3 stealth does help it out a lot, because then you, if you stealth at the right time, you don't get shot, and you get the damage done. But you'll see that probably tomorrow. I don't think I do any of that in this video. But you'll see. I'll point it out when it happens. One guy said I shouldn't give give away uh, things that happen in the video. I think I just did that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's... I like this sh I, I alternate between liking the ship and hating the ship. It's... You can probably make some comparison to my life in there. I don't know what, you, what comparison you want to make, but you can do what you want. And fire and missiles. So I'm just going to open up all the doors again. One thing I don't like about is the ship is the door exit replace uh, the door exteriors. The door exterior is in a really terrible place, and because of the terrible place, the only way you can take out any fire in the front of the ship is to pretty much fill half the ship. Well, to empty half the ship of air. That's kind of a really strong weakness of the ship. The main strength of the ship, of course, is it starts with cloaking two, starts with four weapons. And that's about it, actually. Four weapons is definitely a good start. If the ship had a bit more engines, I would probably love it a lot more. If it started with shields, I would definitely love it a lot more. Um, I think the ship, once it gets shields and maybe... Burst Laser 2, so that's the one that fires three shots, I think the ship would be a real contender. But... Yeah. It's good to know how you can make a ship good. Even if you can't immediately do it. I mean, at least you know what you're aiming for. Ten fuel for one drone part? Worth it, since I've got no drones. And I hate drones. I need to play a ship which just does drones, like the NG ship, and actually... Alright, and now I'm going to find the NG ship. They don't have transporters, but that's good. So 
So the idea that you should be doing as well is wait until the f first shot is fired and then stealth. The problem is because the ship has no engines, the evade only goes up 60% when you evade. And because it only goes up 60% when you evade, there's still a chance they can hit you because it's got no engines. So I've got no evade at all. Oh, because my helm's down. Hang on a sec. So at best, when the ship starts off, you'd get 75% evade, which, to be honest, not terrible, but you could do better. Uh, yeah. Automated reloader, that's an amazing thing with this ship. You just get the shots off faster, meaning you actually get the depth, well, get the shots off in the first place. Because as the ship stands, if it gets hit in weapons, weapons go down, which, given the long charge time, screws you over. So, it's a ship of many weaknesses, but I don't know, I, th I think the weaknesses are the charm of the ship. I'm spending a lot of time today talking about the ship, but... I guess it's the same as talking about a class in any roguelike game. Add a fire and... Uh. Oh. And I was low hull. <laughs> and it's a bit of a funny thing here. That's actually the best ship this is. The best one of these ships has ever gone. That was my record. I'm really not good with this ship. But we're going to try one more time this video. We're gonna get one more ship, and we're gonna we're gonna take it to victory. Right, right. Anyway, guys, um, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. If you want to get in contact with me, probably the best way to do it uh, directly is through Twitter. I am at C for Cat, C for Cat, as in the uh, username that I use here. You can probably see it somewhere up above or down below. I can't remember how YouTube works. But if you want to send me a message, that's a great way to do it. Um, or if you just want to see what I'm up to, I'll give you a hint. It's usually involving video games. Uh, but hey, you know, video games, it's what everyone's into, right? Well, maybe not everyone, but hey, if you're watching this video, you might be interested. You're probably into them. So, also, idea like if I'm asking for sort of ideas of what I should do next... But I'll tend to just run whatever I want to next, because I play it fast and loose. I'm a loose cannon. Oh, beam drones. Beam drones are going to do the exact same thing that they did in the other stealth ship. And that is rip you apart. So anyway, follow me on Twitter if you're interested in uh, knowing what's going on. I will, of course, I do all read every comment that's posted, so I may not reply to them all. But I do read them, I promise you that. Um... Because I love the comments. They teach me a lot. They let me know who's watching the video and they let me know what you guys like. If you guys tell me what you like, then I can cater to that a little bit better. God, I hate beam drones. One beam drone just rips you apart. Look at it go. It's just having the time of its life. I am a beam drone and I will destroy your ship. Watch as I shoot my beams everywhere. Beams, yes, beams everywhere. That's what a beam drone sounds like if it had a voice. There's a reason they don't have a voice. And with the imminent destruction of this ship, I bid thee a farewell, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, double destruction. And I'll catch you next time for hopefully a much better video of FTL. Bye.